how much money should you be saving every single month, every single paycheck, every single year, and how can you actually save this money up without having to live in a box, okay? Because everyone on YouTube says, you know what, save half your income, all your income, and you're like, hey, I have kids, I have bills to pay, how can I save so much money without having to, you know, get evicted from my house? So that's why in this video, I'm gonna break down three simple steps to actually follow, where you can actually do these steps to save a lot of money, a little bit, or whatever you actually can. Now. I did this when I was actually making $60 a week. So I guarantee you, you can follow these steps. By the way, I'm not gonna tell you, hey, do quadratic formulas, do like these equations, solve for X, no. I'm gonna tell you three simple steps to actually follow. Very simple, anyone can actually do it. Now on top of that, if you guys don't know me, my name is Ty Bryson, I'm an accountant. I post videos on YouTube every single day. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, so you get notified when I post a video. On top of that, hit the like button, I really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow a ton, so thank you when you hit the like button. And here's a question for you guys, okay? How much money do you currently have in your savings accounts, and how much money do you actually wish you actually had in there? By the way, half of the people in America, or like around 60% of people in America, they don't even have a savings accounts and they don't even have any money whatsoever inside there. So if you have at least one dollar, well, you are ahead of the curve, my friend. Okay, don't worry about it. Now, if you're asking me, Tommy, well, how much do you have? You're asking me this question. Well, in reality, I have around fifteen thousand eight hundred seventy-three dollars and thirty-five cents liquid money to solve for any problem I have or to invest money whenever I want to. Tomorrow, today, whenever I want to. It feels great to have money on the side to do these things without having to worry about like, hey, I need to go to a credit card or a bank to get a loan. It feels incredible, okay? So again, how much money do you currently have in your savings and how much money do you wish you had and why? Comment down below, let me know. And before I give you guys these three action steps, I just wanna say one thing here, okay? Well, it's important for you to actually have a powerful why to why you actually wanna save this money. Well, Tommy, why do I wanna do this? Well, the answer is this, you know? Have you ever saved money in the past and all of a sudden, an emergency happens and now you have no money, okay? Or all of a sudden, you like you say like, hey, you know, I deserve this money because I've been good, I haven't been spending money, so now, I deserve to treat myself and I want to buy a new iPhone X, I want to buy the iPhone 11, I want to go on vacation to Hawaii, what do you want to do, you know, and that happens all the time, so having a powerful why definitely helps you know exactly what this money is for and not to spend it on dumb things that you actually don't need. So now that we know that, we have it covered, how much money you want and why you want it, let's get into the action steps that you take today so you can start saving money right now as we speak, okay? So number one is this. You wanna know where you actually stand. Now, why do I wanna do this, Tommy? Well, because you can't get to where you wanna get without knowing where you currently are. So for example, if you wanna get to $10,000, you have to know where you are currently in financial life to get to that point of having $10,000 into account, okay? Which is great. Now, here's the thing, guys. How do you do this? You know, how do you know where you are? How do you do a self audit? The answer is this, you wanna grab a piece of paper and you wanna write down all your expenses from rent to Spotify, all your expenses. By the way, here's a hot tip, right? If you don't know all your expenses, go to your bank statement and look through all of them because sometimes you might not know you still have that gym membership active or Spotify active and also um, Tidal and Apple TV, whatever you have active, you wanna make sure you know it and you write down all the expenses from rent electricity, internet, your phone bill, everything on one column. And the next column you wanna write down your income, your monthly income. Once you have that set there, by the way, the expenses also write down the amount of money all of them cost. So for example, Apple TV or like Spotify, 15 bucks a month, rent, $1,000 a month. Then on the income side, you wanna put down, you wanna put down, well, uh, McDonald's, 2,000 bucks every single month, okay? Well, whatever it is, okay? So once you have that set up, well, now you know your expenses, and you know your income. Now, the next step is this, guys. Once you have this information, you wanna circle in all your necessities. That means that what you need to actually live. So for example, circle in rent, electricity, um, internet, not cable, just internet, okay? Internet, um, food, that's about it, gas. And once you have that set up and you know exactly your necessities, everything else is not circled there, like Apple Music, um, Spotify, uh, I wanna go out on um, vacation or like this stuff, like I'm um, eating out, all this stuff. Well, now you know exactly what is a necessity and what is just an expense that doesn't really make sense for you. Now that you have this information, guys, I want you to take this step, okay? I want you to commit to sacrificing that entire expenses that don't really make any sense for you and I want you to pay down your debt if you have any. If you don't have any debt, that's fine. Don't worry about it. We're gonna use that income for something else later on. I'm gonna tell you later on. But once you know exactly what your expenses are, your necessities, and you wanna take out all the things you actually don't need, and you add, the, and you add up that amount, okay? So if it's $1,000 or $100, you add it up and you put that towards paying down your debt, and if you don't have any debt, great, 
Just hold on for a minute. I'm going to tell you what to do right now. Now, step number two is this, guys. Once you have the audit done, step number two is this. You want to make sure you set a percentage so actually save every single time you get paid. Now, here's a question. Here's a question for you guys, okay? Who gets paid first whenever you get paid? Is it you? The answer is no. You never get paid first. The person who gets paid is actually Uncle Sam, okay? Uncle Sam gets paid taxes every single time you get paid. So in reality, what I'm asking you to do is this, guys. Every time you get paid, you want to tax yourself before anyone else does. What I mean is this. Once you get paid, Uncle Sam taxes you. Well, you want to tax yourself next, whether it's 10%, 20%, 80%, whatever it is, depending on where you want to be. But I highly recommend you start with 10% so you guys can get started. Here's the thing. Once you tax yourself, you want to grab that money and put it into a separate bank account in an outside way. Now, I recommend using SoFi. I'm going to tell you why later on in the video. But right now, the whole point is this, guys. You want to tax yourself every time you get paid. So, for example, if you got paid $1,000 this week, you want to tax yourself 10%, which is $100, and you want to put that money in another account because, again, out of mind, out of sight, and then you don't want to be like, okay, I just saved $100, but now I want to spend this and this and this. Well, no. You want to have the money somewhere else, and then that way you don't spend it on things you don't need. So, again, guys, the second step is this. You want to tax yourself. Now, you're probably saying, Tommy, I can do 20%, 30%, 80%, but I don't really care about that. I want you to start with 10%, and here's why. I want you guys to build a habit of saving money every time you get paid. Once you have that habit, which takes around 66 days, well, once you have that habit, you're ready to go. And here's step number three so now we know exactly where we stand and where we want to go and we also know how much money we're actually going to tax ourselves every time we get paid well now it's time for the golden question here we go tommy what do i do with the money do i just save it or do i invest it what do i do and the answer is this i want you to create multiple accounts in one bank account so in that way you set money aside for each job you actually wanted to do so for example every time you pay yourself that 10 percent or 20 percent well you want to take that 10 percent and you want to set it aside into multiple accounts so in that way your money has a job for it to do so it makes money on top of the money you're actually saving so you're not just saving money but you're also making money so tommy what bank do i use if i use chase or boa wells fargo they'll probably charge me a fee and you're right they'll charge you like a maintenance fee for each account unless you deposit like $500 into each account every single month, which is a lot of money. So you don't want to do that. So I actually found a bank account out there that actually does this for free. It's called SoFi Money. Whenever you sign up, by the way, I refer a link down below, you get $100 for signing up. But when you sign up, you have to deposit $100 for your future for saving money. So if you sign up right now and you deposit $100, well, they will give you $100 on top of that. So that's $200 in your account to actually start saving right now. So here's what you do. You want to create sub accounts. By the way, it's free, no ATM fees, worldwide and also no recurrent fees no maintenance fees no what is it like um no overdraft fees there's no fees whatsoever with this account which is great that's why i like it so much so here we go guys once you sign up for sofi money you want to go in the app and you want to do the entire process i'm going to show you right now inside my phone i'm going to go to sofi money right now and here's my account i'm not lying it's my account right now and i have around 923 dollars but i'm going to round it down to like 900 bucks just for the sake of um simplicity so i have 923 dollars i want to go here i want to click um sofi money which is great sofi money i just clicked it and now i want to go into vault beta now vault beta means you can actually create multiple accounts into one account, which means you can actually set money aside for each job that you wanted to do. Now, I want you to create three separate accounts with the money you will be setting aside every time you tax yourself. So here's how it works, okay? You go here, Vault Beta, and you'll see I have three accounts, which is emergencies, long-term investing, and short-term investing, okay? Now, once you create these accounts by clicking right here, um, add um, Vault plus Vault, you can click whatever you want to do right here, Again, it's for saving, not for buying a car, not for going on vacation. It's all about saving and multiplying your money. Tommy, how does this work, okay? How much money do you actually set aside? Well, the answer is this. If you tax yourself 10% and you made $1,000, well, here's what you do, right? Well, right now, let's do, that's my account, right? So I have 900 bucks in here. Well, I'd go, I would go in here and I would say like, hey, I want to set aside 10% for emergency. So I would set aside $900 and I would times it by um, 0 0.10 to actually get 10%, which is 90 bucks. I would go inside here into my vault and I would go to emergency fund and I would move inside this account, well, 90, 90 bucks. And I would move inside here, okay? Move it inside there, there you go. Move money and boom, it's moved. So now I have 90 bucks in emergency. So if I go here back to the vault, you can see I have 90 bucks inside here 
and my available balance over here is only $833. So again, now the next step is this. Well, Tommy, what about the other accounts? You know, like um, long-term investing. Well, long-term investment is for investments that are over one year. For example, if you want to buy real estate or buy um, start a business or something like that, it takes a lot of capital. So this is like one year. So in this case, I would put down 45% of all the money I tax myself inside this account for long-term investing, like you know, real estate or whatever you want to do. Again, you can do like 20%, maybe 45%, but I want to do 45%. So I would take 900 bucks and I would times it by um, 0.45 to get 45%, and that gives me $405. So again, I would go back here to SoFi Money, and I would click Long-Term Savings, and I would deposit $405. So I would deposit $405, and then there you go. Move the money, and there you go. Now I move the money, and now I know that that money is for long-term savings. Then I would go in here to short-term savings. And again, I'm going to do 45% for this also. So I would go here and I would move, again, $405. Another 45%, okay? Move it. And there you go. Now I know that all my money is split and all my money has a job. So again, my emergency fund, every time I get paid and I take 10% of my income, I will be putting in 10% of that money inside of my emergency fund. Why? Because I want to make sure if anything happens, I have money for emergencies. I want to make sure that if I want to buy real estate in the future, I have money for that also. I want to make sure that if I want to invest in something short term, like for example, by the way, short term is like courses, um, going to college, trade school, and also testing out businesses. Again, your entire goal here is to increase your earning potential by having this money make you more money. So again, long term is like real estate, buying things that require a lot of capital. Short term can be to increase your income. So for example, if you're gonna McDonald's right now, your main goal should be to increase your income. So you can actually go inside this entire, like you can use this money right now to actually go ahead and put this money towards, you know, like maybe like trade school, college, a certificate, anything you can actually do to actually increase your income. Once you do that, you can actually start moving forward and forward and forward and you make more money, thus you save more money also. So again, guys, those are my recommendations. That's what I currently do. And again, this money also makes you interest. So again, this account actually gives you, I think around like 1.80% on your money. So your money is earning interest every single month by having this money set aside. But the goal is to have this money have a job so you make money every single time by setting money aside. And then that way you don't have to worry about like, hey, you know, an emergency happened. Well, no, I have money in my emergency accounts. And if you want to transfer the money back, by the way, you just click on Vault again and you click the entire account here and you click on Move Money and you move it back into your spending balance. And then that way you have the money right back there and you use your debit card and then you can use it no more, no, like no problem, it's instant, okay? It's instant and that's why I like it so much. So again, if you sign up today and you deposit a hundred bucks, well, SoFi will give you another hundred, so that's 200 bucks and that money, you know, 10% into emergencies, well, that's, 10, that's $20. And $200 times 0. 0.45, well, $200 times 0. 0.45, well, that's $90 into your long-term and short-term investing. So again, this makes a lot of sense. That's what I do myself. So comment down below and let me know, does this make sense and do you actually want to try it? If you do try it, you do need help, um, just like DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryce and I will like contact you like one-on-one. -on -one. We actually talk about the entire thing. That way I can lead you through and guide you through everything that you need to know. So again, referral link down below. And before I go, guys, I want to say one last thing here and it's this, okay? The overall goal here is that every time you get paid, you want to tax yourself and that way you always have money set aside for a saving, investing, short and long term and emergencies, okay? So the entire goal here is to tax yourself before you pay any bills and to also make sure your bills are necessities and not just wants. And before I go, guys, well, I'm leaving now. Hit the like button, really appreciate it. it. Helps the channel out a ton. And also subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified. And on top of that, if you want to do one on one, Una Una is DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And before I go, you want to watch another video on my original budget, the budget I use currently, hit this video right here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, hit my face right here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And thanks for watching and peace.